The IBM Forms Designer allows form authors to easily create forms that include a step-by-step -step wizard experience or to add a wizard to a pre-existing form that may have more of a classic 8.5 by 11 paper style of appearance. I'm John Boyer, the Distinguished Engineer for IBM Forms, and I'm going to show you the wizard creation capabilities within the IBM Forms Designer. In this example, I've just finished quickly pulling together a medical pre-approval form based on a schema definition. I haven't done a lot of UI work, so it's not as densely packed as maybe a typical paper form is, but you get the idea here. I'm going to make this form a little bit bigger, or the design canvas a little bit bigger, because I'm in small screen video capture mode. When I started this form, I chose a template that already had a wizard experience built into it, but you can actually right click and uh, add a wizard experience to your forms at any time. This form contains three sort of logical components, but I think you're only going to need to see two in order to get the idea. My form started out with only one step in a wizard experience, so I'm going to add a second one. Now that added another step to the wizard experience, not to this paper style of form, but once you have a wizard experience defined, it's very easy to just grab controls that are on the paper style forms, right click, and then add them to steps of the wizard experience. So I've just added the patient data here to step one of the wizard experience. And now I'm going to add the patient's contact information to step two of the wizard experience. Now there's more information that this form actually collects on this page or maybe many pages of uh, a larger form. And you would just simply continue right clicking and adding those to various pages of a wizard experience. But for the purposes of this demo, we're basically done with the design experience. So now let's flip over to the runtime experience and see what that looks like. I'm going to click the uh, tab here on the bottom of the design canvas to take us over to the web form server. And now you can see that the patient data is uh, available on page one of the wizard experience. So I can type things like you know, my name, uh, or you know I can you know take advantage of this combo box and type something medically relevant in for the gender, so they know that I'm allergic to kryptonite. Or if we feel there's no danger of that, we could just you know make a choice from the available choices, and then we're basically done. And the user could hit next at that point, or the wizard experiences can provide a you know set of page tabs that allow the person to get to any step. If you don't like that, then uh, you can actually take that out of the wizard template. That's one of the other options you have. So now I'm going to enter my email address here in the contact information so that you can uh, get a hold of me if you want to know anything more about IBM Forms. But other than that, we're basically uh, done with the wizard experience here that we've set up. And so I'll click the Done button and go to the more uh, paper style of form. Uh, this is the style of form that you might print or digitally sign or use as the document of record for an agreement or a transaction. And you can kind of see here that the wizard experience is collecting the data and putting it into the underlying data model so that it can be resurfaced in this alternative view. So this basically completes the demonstration of just how easy it is to add a wizard experience to an IBM form uh, without any coding. If you'd like to know more about IBM forms, come to our website where you can get more in-depth information, case studies, and free trial downloads. Thanks for watching.